Hey, what's up, family? Peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. This one's going to be about nine reasons why God is not answering your prayers. A lot of us, I wish I would have known what I know now 10 years ago, five years ago, because sometimes we could be praying and we wonder why things aren't changing in our life. We wonder why things are going downhill. Is God listening to me? And the Bible always gives us the basic instructions before leaving earth, the reasons why I think God's not answering our prayers. So I came up with nine reasons why God doesn't answer our prayers. The first thing is you have the wrong motives. I wish I would have known this when I was younger. The wrong motives. This is in James chapter 4, verse 3. It says, ye ask and receive not because you ask amiss that ye may consume it upon your lust. There's a lot of things in life especially before I came into the truth where I would pray and I would, you know, I would, I would question, is God answering? Is, is God listening? Is this a waste of time? And the reasons why God wouldn't answer my prayers because of things I would be praying. It was, it was just like a lustful thing. Like I pray I can make more, um, I pray I could get more richer, but I was, I wanted to get richer back then for the wrong motives. Okay. So I could be vain, carnal minded which is going to drive me away from god so god's not going to answer your prayers if something's going to drive him away from you he's going to protect you okay and he doesn't want you to you know pray for things that you know that he knows that's going to lead you more into darkness okay and there's many things i prayed for back in the days that it was just out of lust it was just it wasn't it was a wrong motives behind it so always make sure what you're praying is according to god's will in your life okay number two is you have unconfessed sin. Okay, this is in Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2. So it says, But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have I hid from his face from you, that he will not hear. Okay, it even says in John chapter 9, verse 31, it says, Now we know that God hear not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of him and do his will, him he hears. Okay, so if, if God does not hear sinners, and this is a Christ speaking, Christ said that we know that God hear not sinners, because back then, Men were more equipped with the word of God. They knew the scriptures, okay? So God is not here sinners, someone who's disobedient, someone who wants nothing to do with him. But whoever does the will of God, him God hears. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're praying for, that's aligned with the kingdom of God, that's aligned with God's will in your life, is he going to 100% hear? And I'm believing proof of this. I remember I got down on my knees. I'll never forget this. It's like in February this year. And I prayed, asked God, please put my hands to, to, to labor. I want to do things, big things for the kingdom. I never thought it would be my YouTube channel. Never thought that. But I just got on my knees and prayed. Whatever God's will was in my life, uh, I completely surrendered. I gave up everything, 100%. And now I'm seeing that those prayers were answered because I, it was aligned to God's will in my life. Okay, uh, I had faith, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. But yeah, so you want to make sure that all the... Um, Anything that any unconfessed sin, guys, that has to be fully give up, fully repent from all of that so God can hear your prayers. For we know God to hear not sinners. John chapter 9, verse 31. Okay, number three is you have pride. Okay, we all know that the devil was the first one with pride. And it says that in James chapter 4, verse 6, it says, But he gave more grace. Wherefore he said, God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. So you don't want to be arrogant. Even the Bible says that God hates arrogancy, self-righteousness, and pride. Okay, so when you're operating like that, he gives grace to the humble. So if you're asking in meekness, um, you know, and of course it's aligned to the will of God, God hears you and he gives you more grace. So always make sure you're not operating in pride. We know that pride is one of the deadliest sins. And remember, the devil was the first one to operate in pride. You got to make sure that your heart is cleansed, is pure. Because when your heart's not pure, when it's not cleansed, it could, you know, not just with pride, it could be envy, jealousy, uh, vanity, stuff like that. So always make sure, guys, you're not operating in pride. And always pray to the Most High and, and have them reveal things to you. Because we all have certain things that we're battling with every single human on earth. So always pray. And if you don't know what it is, then always pray and ask God. And he will show you because it's, that's aligned to God's will in your life. Okay. Next thing up, number four is doubt. Okay, when you have doubt, the Bible says in James chapter 1, verse 5 to 7, so it says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that gives to all men liberty, and abrade not, and it shall be given unto him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavers like a wave of the sea, driven with the sea and tossed. For let that man think not he shall receive anything from the Lord. Okay, so when you pray, you want to have 100% faith. You don't, you don't want to, you know, is God listening? Uh, you, you don't want to have any doubt when you pray. You have to truly believe in your heart. That what you're doing is aligned to the kingdom of God, it's aligned to God's will in your life, you're being obedient, and you, you're 100% positive, you 100% believe that he's going to answer your prayers. Now, you don't know when, because we're not genies, God doesn't work like that, but we know that in due time, in due season, in his will, 
in his timing, it's going to come to pass. So whenever you're praying, guys, don't have any doubt. Oh, you know, God, give me, you know, I pray for a wife or a husband, but you have doubt that it's going to come, you know, because maybe you have some insecurities or, you know, God, I pray for a new business, new job, whatever, but you have doubt that you're not ready to go harder than, you know, because remember, much is given, much is required. So if you're asking God, you know, for for more blessings, he's going to require more of you. Okay, he's going to require maybe to you to go work more harder, you know, um, to provide for your family, you know, whatever the case may be. So always remember that much is given much is required. Okay. So that's in, that was in James chapter, um, one verse five to seven. Okay. So the next one up guys, number five would be family conflict. Okay. So the Bible says in one Peter chapter three, verse seven. So it says, likewise, you husbands dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor into the wife as into the weaker vessel and as being hearers together of the grace of life that your prayers be not hindered. Okay. So your prayers as a man, as a husband can be hindered if you have any bitterness towards your wife or, or your family, your children too, you know, you don't want your prayers to be hindered. So you got to make sure you're providing because the Bible does say if a man doesn't provide it for his family, he is worse than an infidel. So if you're not providing for your family, God's not hearing your prayers. Okay. Uh, if you over here, uh, you know, rebelling, you know, rebelling and, you know, against your wife and stuff like that, God is not going to be hearing your prayers. You don't want your prayers to be hindered. So always keep in mind that, you know, of course, there's always going to be problems in any relationship in any marriage but at the end of the day you guys come into agreement and try to work things out for you know for the for the best i can so that wasn't uh one peter chapter three verse seven okay another thing that i learned too when it comes to why my prayers were answered especially as a young as like like when i first gave my life to christ like i want to say like in 2018 uh there was a lot of things that i prayed for and i pr i had faith i was obedient and it never came to pass and i was always wondering like you know like what, you know, I would always ask God, like, you know, what's going on? And the reason why that happens, guys, is because it's the wrong timing. Okay. The wrong timing. So whenever you ask for something, right. And this is even a Bible verse. This is in, um, Isaiah chapter 55, verse eight to nine. So it says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are my way, neither are your ways, my ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts, your thoughts. So there was times where I didn't understand why that certain things weren't um, coming into my life that I would pray about. You know, like I said earlier, that when you, uh, if you're, if you, you know, not living a life of disobedience, uh, you know, you're being obedient to the Most High, you're following His uh, commandments, you're keeping the faith in Christ, you're doing all that, and you wonder why things aren't really working out in your favor, and it's because it's not, and it's time, it's on God's timing, and it will come to pass eventually. I, everything that I prayed for three, four years ago that didn't come within a year, within a couple of months, it came like two, three years, four years later. Okay, so that's why you gotta have faith and understand that. And the Bible even says when you pray, be not as the heathens who give repetitive uh, prayers. Okay, once you say a prayer, guys, that's it. God has now if you're living according to His word, He already heard it. You don't have to keep on praying the same thing over and over again. And I remember I used to always do that when it came to asking until I read that Bible. That's why it's so important, guys, to like know the word. Okay, that's in um, I believe that's in Matthew, Matthew chapter six. I don't know the entire verse. I'll leave a verse somewhere on the screen. But you want to make sure that whatever you're praying for, you're not re repeating the same thing over and over again. Okay, be not as I think it says, be not as a heathen. Okay, so the next one up would be, uh, I think this is number eight or number seven, is that you never ask, okay? You never ask. There was times where I was living according to the word and, you know, there's blessings that I had in my heart, but I never got, I never asked God for, for the prayer. You know, I never, I, or I never got on my knees and prayed and asked him for it, even though I, that was my desires. And the Bible does say, seek the Lord um, and he, he will delight yourself in the desires of your heart. And that is true, but sometimes you also got to pray and ask God, you know, for as well too. So sometimes you could, you know, you're not getting what you're prayer, praying for because you haven't asked. And there's a Bible verse for that. This is in um, James chapter four, verse two. It says, ye lust and ye have not. Ye kill and desire to have and ye cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not because ye have not asked. Okay, this is also a good one too. Matthew chapter seven, verse 11 says, if you then being evil know how to give, give gifts to your children, how much more shall your father, which is in heaven, give good things to them to ask him? So we got to ask God, get down on your knees and pray and ask God. Like I said, God is not a genie. He's not going to just give appear right there. You got to have faith. You got to have patience. And it's all, all that aligns with having the fruits of the spirit. You know, Galatians chapter five, verse 22, 23 
uh, faith, love, peace, joy, uh, goodness, uh, self-control, um, probably forgetting one more, but that's all what it aligns to. When you have the fruits of the spirit, you're going to be patient. You know that whatever you prayed for, you have a hundred percent confidence that it's going to come to pass. Okay. So the next one up, I think it's number eight or number nine is, uh, is protection. Okay. There's a lot of times, this is something that I wish I knew when I was younger too as well. A lot of times we pray for something and we don't, we don't want, we wonder why, you know, we're living according to the word. And, you know, let's say maybe we're praying for like, um, a new job or like a, a, a new, um, or maybe like a, you want a girl for, or a wife or a husband, you know, stuff like that, right? You're praying, it's not coming. And it's because that God knows, or let's say if you're already with someone, right? God knows that that person is not aligned to be in your journey. And you got to be okay with that. You got to accept that because God knows more than you know, okay? Maybe that person won't make it. Maybe that person is just serving God for a season and you, you're in it for the lifetime, you're fully committed and that person's still on the fence. So God is actually pr protecting you. You know, wonder why things aren't working out is because God is protecting you. Sometimes rejection to us, to us humans could be a form of God's protection. And that's why the Bible says, understanding is a wellspring of life and to him who has it. So have understanding. Okay, why God did not hear this prayer? Or oh, sorry, why God did not answer my prayer because he was just protecting me. And you will know in due time. Okay, everything that you, the thing that you prayed for and you're wondering why, like, you know, what's going on? Six months later, a couple seasons later, a couple years later, you're going to come into a realization, wow, I'm glad God didn't hear that prayer. You know, he did hear, but he was just protecting you. Okay, I mean, there's so many times, guys, so many times, especially within these last three years. I, I was praying for something and I was wondering why it didn't come to pass. And then I come to realization, wow, like, that was just a most high protecting me because I, what I was praying for was actually going to, keep me in darkness what i was praying for was just going to separate me from the love of christ so always keep that in mind and be patient and understand that his ways are not your your uh, your thoughts are not his thoughts just like it says in uh, isaiah chapter 55 so i hope you guys learned something in this video if you haven't already make sure you guys smash the like button subscribe to the channel and share this video on all social media platforms i love you guys so much i'm out peace